Hello everybody, here we are with Fruitful Trees. I'm in Mango Land, but I'm growing some bananas. And here's a rack of bananas. As far as I know, this is Monsanto bananas, apple bananas. And I keep good track of my trees, of what I put and where I put them. And I'm almost positive these were apple bananas, and are apple bananas. But when I posted a picture of this rack of bananas, two people said they look like a Namwa bananas, tall Namwa bananas, and I don't want tall Namwa bananas. My neighbor has some amazing dwarf Namwa bananas, but uh, I don't see the point of having tall Namwa bananas if you can get short ones. I like Namwa bananas, but I particularly put here in my front yard apple bananas. And I've had this tree in my yard for a long time, and I didn't want to get rid of it when I got rid of all my other bananas, so this was the one banana that I kept and I have four that I took from the same stalk uh, or the same mat of bananas and I put them here. So I'm here with my neighbor now and uh, he's just first in hearing about this also. Uh, but I did have other people tell me it does look like Monsanto. So we're going to investigate a little bit today. So this is my neighbor Ram and he's been growing bananas for a long time. Uh, what variety of bananas uh, do you grow at your property? Uh, my favorite is Mysore but I also have uh... I've narrowed it down to just the ones I really love. Mysore, I've got the red banana, and I've got the namwa. That's it, I've got plenty of them. But uh, I mean, apple banana is a great banana, but we all have our taste, you know what I mean? And I don't like the texture of it. Now, I've been eating uh, manzano bananas for a long time, and you have to wait till they get really ripe. Right. And we'll know for sure when we taste them uh, if they're apple bananas or not. And in my recent comments, somebody told me there's two different kinds of apple bananas. And you and I don't have that extensive knowledge on the bananas, but we're gonna to investigate today and look at these because you do have Namwa bananas next yes. door. Yes. So we'll see if they're similar. Now, looking at this rack, uh, we're not comparing it to anything, so we don't know, but you've been growing Namwa bananas for a long time. Yeah. Well, now, I I we'll look at yours in a little while, but how long have you been growing Namwa bananas for? I don't I've been growing bananas for about 60 years. It was the first thing I ever grew when I was a boy. So, a long time. Sure, and looking at these here, can you see anything uh, distinct about them? I mean, do all bananas look the same to you, or do these no, look no, different? No, they, they look different. This looks different, a little, a little, you know, little subtle differences between this and the Namla. We go take a look at the Namla. Now, this might be a little further along and makes it look a little different also. Okay, so I think the only thing they got in common is they're green. Yeah. Uh, but this does look different. And uh, so if we look at this, uh, somebody pointed out in one of my videos that uh, they have a distinct tip on these, which uh, they said they weren't as familiar with apple bananas, Monsanto bananas, but they said their namwas usually don't have tips that are distinct as this. And we're going to look at yours, but everybody take a look at that and a closer look. And tell me what you think, if you can tell. We'll even have a close-up here with the hands. If anyone can tell, some of you ask, let's see the leaves on it. Here are the leaves. And the, the weight, the, the heaviness, like some of those racks of bananas I'm getting, I've got, I haven't weighed them, but they must be 40 pounds each. Uh, and they're just tremendous amount of bananas. Excellent stuff, you know. Now you have a dwarf Namwa tree. Uh, some people are suggesting this is a tall Namwa. And one thing I noticed here is when these same bananas grew in my other yard, they were a lot taller than this. That's right. I remember them. Uh, quite, I'd say probably 10 feet taller. Yeah, they were a lot taller than this. In this yard, they're growing smaller. Uh, but I think that's because they're getting water here. In the other yard, they weren't getting water. And from my experience, if they don't have water, they'll grow taller and take a longer time to fruit. Whereas if you have water on them, and somebody watch and correct me if I'm wrong, now that I have water and mulch on them, they're growing faster or they're coming out faster and shorter. Yeah, I don't know. I know mulch is always good for just about everything. Bananas love mulch and, and lots of water. And these are heavily mulched. Yeah. And uh, these keep growing back. I just cut all of these because I'm trying to keep only three. And we see how many grew here. It's absolutely amazing. So, I have some other racks. That one's the furthest along, and my neighbor told me, cut the flower. 
And, w and why do we cut the flower? Well, we cut the flower to, uh, instead of the tree exerting energy into making flowers that aren't going to produce any bananas after it's went down about six inches from this uh, bundle, it's uh, said to help the, you know, the tree grow bigger bananas, uh, you know, without expending the energy. Okay, so for those of you that might identify according to the flower, We'll look at some other uh, Manzano banana trees I have that have the flower on them and aren't as far along as those. We'll go over here and do that. Yeah. So these are the same ones, and that's the banana, that's the flower. And these are edible. Uh, it takes a lot of work. Whoop, a little flower that's sitting there. These right here, in Asia, they would make these into a, a salad, and it just takes a lot of labor. So they're great, though. All right, and this is, uh, these aren't as far along, but again, maybe you could tell, somebody could tell by looking at them on this rack if they look... They look the same. They look the same, yes. which is different than your normal mamboas, you think, a little? Well, we'll take a look at the other ones now that we're really closely looking at them and see, see what the difference is. All right, and then we have another rack here with them at a different stage right here. So these are all from the same mat of bananas and now we'll go across the street and look at the Namwat tree. So here we are this is uh, my neighbor's tree here this is his dwarf Namwat tree and you can see how tall he is compared to how low the bananas are there and he has some here these just started coming out in this branch you see the flower is so much bigger and there's you really can't tell at that point but here are some that are a little bit more along here, and I think he cut the flower off, but I think you could tell a difference. These look skinnier than the other ones. Yeah, the point don't, isn't don't. as prevalent. That's right. The, the point isn't so... Uh, the other point kind of looks like a dolphin nose Prevalent, almost. yes. These are more like that, but even more so. And these are definitely now moi's, 100%. Yeah. So they do look different. So that's one sign. And uh, when it comes time to tasting, I know the Monsanto bananas you can't eat unless they're fully ripe, maybe even overripe. But these you can eat when they're completely yellow with no problem. And right. look, look, how, look at the size of these, uh, the base of these trees. They're just huge, giant. You can tell it's very happy living right where it is. And it's interesting, these particular trees after all the years, these have grown better than any other tree I've ever grown for bananas, and I don't know why. It just likes that spot. Uh, Paul gave me a, a tree about five years ago, and we had it here, and it just didn't like it, and it didn't grow at all. And put these in here, and wow, what's the difference? Sure. I don't know. And I didn't consider to look at the stalk on the apple banana, but we know things like my are taller and skinnier right. than these, uh, so we'll look at that as well. And the leaves... Uh, sometimes you can tell a difference with the leaves. These leaves shredded. are kind of shredded. Maybe that's a, a characteristic, maybe not. Some well, of you bananas. That comes might from know. the wind. We had all that strong wind, so they were okay. getting, that's why I braced it up. Yes. So we definitely know if that is a Namwa over there, it's not a dwarf Namwa, but they're pretty tall, even so. And these are much shorter. And so these are pretty tall for dwarf Namwas, right? Yeah, well, like I say, this is the biggest I've ever seen them grow. Yeah, look how big that is. Tremendous. And don't get me wrong, dwarf Namwa is an excellent banana, so is Namwa. I just want in that spot apple banana, and that's why I kept them and saved them from my yard. All right, so we'll go look at the other bananas I got, and uh, thank you. Okay, so while we're here with our neighbor, we'll look at some of his other bananas that he has. So these trees here now, they haven't been taken care of at all, and they look like hell, and they're not doing very well because there's no water to them. Without water, this is what happens to your trees. There is a small flower up there. Yeah, but not much in it. It's just dead. Now, some of these bananas uh, I gave him, and some he got from another place, but they really can't give a good estimate because, like you said, they haven't been getting any water, but this is a good example Bananas need either water or a lot of mulch, and here he hasn't been getting either. Right. And that's what's going to happen. It's not going to grow well. Right. But one thing I do notice is this is pretty cool and unique. 
You have a variegated banana, banana tree here. Right, yeah, that's normal for these. Well, what are they? Because that's the, not normal for bananas, and this, that's uh, quite this an is oddity. The, this is the Gros Michel. Okay, Gros Michel. Yeah. You sure about that? Yeah, there's only two trees planted here, and one was yours, and if yours don't do it, it's got to be the Gros Michel. Okay, well, that's pretty cool. A variegated Gros Michel, because I don't know if all Gros Michels are variegated. Do you I, know? I don't know, but they, they still. Very cool. We've got some reds over there. We can take a look at the banana. All right, so there is a banana called a red banana, but I think there's more than one variety of a red banana. And this one here, my neighbor likes a lot, but I don't prefer the taste of these. This one also uh, is not getting any water, no care, nothing, in it, in it, but it's still producing. Not very okay. much it's producing, but it's producing, you know. What it needs, it needs the water. I broke off. What happens is I had a water line to them, and the roots broke the line. I haven't fixed it yet. I've just capped it off. I think we've got some more back here. No, yeah, more. Uh, some more. These are mammals also. Also, no water. So look at the difference with water in the front yard versus these. See how scraggly looking the bananas are? Yeah. So and water a, or mulch are important for bananas. Yeah, it really is. Those in the front, I just got water on them I, that I had. I was, didn't have water on them, and they grew great because I put tons of mulch on it. Right, right. I need to get some mulch. Yes. All right, and then on the other side, you have your mysore. Yeah. Which is wonderful tasting. Yeah. This one over here with the rock. Okay, so this is mysore. You see, much skinnier and longer. Here you can see a, a rack up there, which they look like. Taller. Much skinnier and taller, definitely. Yeah, and it's, it's really got high same up there. kind of nipple, though, as the other one. Yeah. It's yours. So, yeah, mine look more like that than Namwa. But the trees don't look like that at all. No. So it's very interesting to learn about bananas. I'm appreciative for those of you that say mine might not be what I think it is, but... I want to know for sure, so when we get them, we'll taste them and we'll see. All right, thank you for showing us. Okay, so I'm feeling pretty good that that is a apple banana, Monsanto banana. But when that rack comes down, I will cut it and I will have some people taste it. My friend Alex at Tropical Acres Farms uh, doesn't have bananas on his farm now, but at one point he had 32 different varieties of bananas, I believe. So I told him I'm going to bring the rack to him, or at least some bananas from him, to taste, to try to make a good identification of that banana. So let me show you some of the other banana trees I have here. Uh, they're much smaller, so they're not as easy to identify as my neighbors, but check these out. These are supposed to be called Lakaton bananas, which I'm really excited about. However, there's not a red line going through them and what I found out that if true Lakatan will have a red line going through them and when the bananas are ready they're gonna have an orangish fleshly banana inside so these actually may be a Thai banana but not a Lakatan and here's another one as well now I did finally get the the true red Lakatan banana I don't have leaves on this one but I got a cup of one so that will grow as you'll see in time and as we come along here these are the Mysore bananas that my neighbor has uh, that he loves so much and I love these too these are probably the best tasting bananas I, I would think these are Mysore they're excellent and here's another one of those Lakatan bananas that's or the Thai banana I have an ice cream banana right there. This one here is a dwarf namwa. And over here, I have another one of the dwarf namwas. Here is a gross Michelle banana. And it looks like they're all variegated. I didn't notice this until I just saw my neighbors, but this looks variegated. That's gross, Michelle. 
There's that other type of Lakatan banana we were just looking at, that Thai banana. Here I have a dwarf Namwa. We missed one over there, which was an ice cream banana that I have. Another dwarf Namwa. So I don't need dwarf Namwa's. That's why I was hoping the ones in the front were not dwarf Namwa's. Here's a Mysore. This one's another dwarf Namwa. Now these are interesting here. This is, I believe, a ladyfinger. I could be wrong, but it has the red going through it. The red's going through it. So if that's Lakatan, I hit the jackpot with that, but that's the red going through it. So we'll see about that. And some of you know a lot more about these than I do. Here's another one of the same one. Has the red in it. And then I have one more dwarf Namwa here. I put a lot of mulch on my bananas and I got some pups coming up from that. So these stay small, that's why I like these and I particularly put these between the trees so they won't shade out the mango trees when they get tall, they'll stay short. And since I like Mysore so much, I put another one here, another Mysore banana here, which is quite interesting because it has the red leaf in it and I didn't see this in the other ones. But that's Mysore far as we know. And we're going to take one more look at the rack of the apple bananas or the suspect apple bananas. You see the nose looks more, these are, are not as formed yet, but the nose looks, looks more like a, a dolphin tip nose. Whereas the other ones didn't have that. So again, here you go. You see, that's the difference. So we'll see if these are Namwas or not. So before I publicize this video, I am going to wait for those racks, or at least one of them, to uh, get ripe, taste the banana, share it with uh, my neighbors and see, and even maybe go side by side with a Namwa and see if they taste different. I know, like I was saying before, the apple bananas, they need to be very ripe before you eat them or they don't taste well at all. Where Namwa or these other bananas, you can get them when they're not fully ripe and they're edible, but uh, not fully ripe Apple banana is not edible by any means. So that's what we got growing on here, everybody. And I'll be back with, in a moment, with part two or, or with a continuation uh, when I get those bananas off the rack, which looks like it'll be soon. All right. All right, everybody. This is the, what I assume is the apple banana. And now it is April 28th. 2024 and the first rack is ready now I'm pretty sure these are apple banana from what I've seen the apple banana has this little dolphin nose tip at the end somebody told me nope these are Namwa but my neighbor has Namwa and they don't look like it but I just see here I got my first one that's ripe so I'm about to take this off and I'm gonna get to taste it and see all right I just cut the bananas down. Once they turn yellow, that's what I cut them. And love it. There it is. When it's yellow, it's ripe. 
and these will ripen up. But I'll go ahead and confirm with my neighbor and with a couple of other banana experts. Very pleased. It's delicious. That's right. So this is my neighbor Ram here now. We did the video with him and he's looking at it. Does it look like a namwa? You've had many. What do you well, think? Well, we can take it over next to mine and see if they're namwa just by looking for comparing them. Okay. I can tell you what they taste like. I know that the, I know what they taste like. I don't think it's a namwa. I don't know what it is. Somebody told me it was an apple banana. To me, it tastes just like an apple banana. And somebody told me it was an apple banana, but a particular variety, a Hawaiian version of an apple banana. This is this 10 different varieties or five different varieties. Well, the taste is great. And, and apple banana hasn't been my favorite because of the consistency. But this also has a better consistency that I remember. And do you taste uh, a little apple-ish? Well, I never tasted that. You know, a lot of okay. Times, like pineapple pleasure, I don't taste pineapple. Well, you will, and you will taste, I taste the apple in there. But the banana itself is excellent, right? Mm -hmm. Excellent. No but doubt. it's different than a namwa, in your opinion, taste wise. Well, you know, it's hard to tell unless they're right side by side. But as I remember, I haven't had one of my namwas come right for a couple of months. So, no, we haven't right beside each other, we know. But we could take one over there and look. Sure. I know where yeah. mine's from. Yeah, well, no, no, that, I want to leave that one for Alex. So, so let's, well, let's just, we can look at it and then go there and figure it out. Sounds good. But that's that. So, but it's a great banana, nonetheless. That's excellent. Yes. That's might, yeah. It might well be a Namwa. Maybe. But it Maybe. really tastes good because I'm not crazy about the apple one, but this one I love. Yeah. Well, everybody, here they are. And I got my answer. I asked a lot of people that know about bananas and some that don't. And people gave me different answers about what they truly were. But I'm going to go with Alex at Tropical Acres Farms, who specialized in mangoes. But prior to his mango farm, he had a bunch of bananas on his farm. And, or his old farm, he had a bunch of banana trees that he was collecting. And I think he accurately would be able to tell me. Now, he said they looked like Namwa from the picture, but I wanted him to taste it to confirm. Here they are again. And after speaking to Alex, I have found out, and I'm going to go with confidence, that Apple Banana is not the father. These are Namwa Bananas. These are Namwa. Now, there's good news and bad news. The bad news is I don't have my apple bananas. But the good news is these taste absolutely amazing. Amazing. And I will be going to get some apple bananas trees. But these are amazing. Thank you, everybody, that answered this banana mystery for me. Now I'm stuck with a bunch of tall Namwa bananas and some dwarf Namwa bananas, which I don't mind because they taste great. But my question to everyone now is, and I'll find out real soon, but do tall Namwa bananas produce better than short Namwa bananas or dwarf Namwa bananas? This rack produced wonderful, and I'm waiting for them to green. But this uh, banana mystery solved for now. My Namwa bananas, which I have a bunch of because I thought they were all apple bananas. I planted four big trees. And they all have bananas on them. But they, they taste great. There were a few that were ripe, so that's why I pulled them off. But these are hard, so they still got some time to go. All right, everybody. Nam Wa Banana.